Good afternoon, this is Jim Lakey with news and announcements for Maxville and St. John, Kansas on cable channel 3. And also a little later on sandylandcenter.org, our website. And we invite you to check our website because sometimes you miss the county commissioners meeting or one of the other things that happens regularly and we do have those on our website as well as the bulletin board which you can turn on and watch uh, right from the privacy of your own computer. Anyway, today is Wednesday the 31st of August. It's 95 at noontime. <coughs> We're having a sunny day. It will go up to about 105. And that will be the warm temperature for the next six days. Then uh, all the other days are sunny. Uh, Thursday is also windy and sunny with 104 the temperature. Friday 102. Sunday, uh, Saturday 95. Sunday 84. And Monday 83. So the trend is in the right direction for temperatures, and it looks like uh, sunny days every day. Well, as a uh, reminder to you, we have the county commissioners meeting, and we do it after the 6.30 news on Wednesday, uh, because we're, for the summer, just doing uh, the, uh, the news on Wednesday. So tune in after the 6.30 news tonight, and the county commissioners meeting for Monday uh, will be on. <coughs> then uh, we have a lot of paper here, but uh, not much on any one sheet. And uh, the first thing are uh, the birthdays that we have. And so today, happy birthday to Robert Toot and Sybil Ronan. And we'll continue into next month until next Wednesday. Uh, Tomorrow, happy birthday to Donnie and Deborah Pound. Uh, nobody on Friday, nobody on Saturday, nobody on Sunday. But on Monday, happy anniversary to Gordon and Donita Hedrick. And on uh, Tuesday, happy birthday uh, to Taylor Dawn Clark. And on Wednesday, happy birthday to Keith Beaverly, Heather Garcia, and Terry Spradley. So we hope that you all have uh, uh, great anniversaries and birthdays, and there are a lot of days where uh, no one has signed up. So if you're having a birthday or somebody in your family and you'd like to put it on the bulletin board, uh, be sure to call us and let us know. But make sure you have permission from the birth person whose birthday it is, because some people don't want anybody to know that they have birthdays. Well. Uh, we'll look at the menus and for the sunflowers we just have the menu for the rest of the week and we don't have next week's menu yet. Uh, today they're having porcupine meatballs and noodles, uh, Thursday roast, roast pork sandwich and mashed potatoes and gravy and on uh, Friday braised beef and rice. And uh, from Maxville, we, we do have their menu for next month. They're having barbecued uh, pork today. And then as we go to next month, they're having chuck wagon steak on Thursday, sweet and sour chicken on Friday. And of course, on Monday, they're closed because it's Labor Day. Then they're having Salisbury steak on Tuesday and spaghetti with meat sauce on a week Wednesday. Then uh, we have some different announcements. Uh, the Recreation Com Commission and the Sunflowers are having a farewell party for Hazel and Jordan on September 12th at 6 o'clock. And uh, bring a card. They're having a card show. The main dish is provided. Please bring a side dish or a dessert to share. So uh, there you have it. In the uh, Sunflower Center, they've given us their, their hours. They're open 9.30 to 3 uh, through the week, and on Friday, 9.30 to 1.30. Uh, Wednesday afternoons at the Sunflowers, they have uh, car 
coins and Romy Cub, which I don't know what that is, uh, pop coins provided by uh, the St. John uh, Recreation Commission, and call Carol Farrow at 549-3403 if you have some questions. <coughs> then the Rec Commission is uh, having a, a bus uh, go to the Kansas State Fair on September 13th, which is a Tuesday, and they'll leave at 7.30 and return at 3.30. So it's just the daytime at the fair. Uh, the fee is $16 for a fair ticket and the bus. 549-6549 uh, to make a reservation that says invite a friend to join you. Then uh, in September 23rd, which is a Friday, they're going to the Medicine Lodge Peace Treaty Parade and Pageant. And it's a reenactment, uh, exploration and settlement of the Prairie region. So the parade's at 10, the pageant's at 1. They're going to leave at 8 and uh, come back at the close of the pageant. And the fee is $30. So call 549-6549 uh, for the Rec Commission. And I believe today uh, they've probably already gone, so uh, the Boot Hill Casino trip is today, and they're leaving at 8, so they're gone already. And I hope the bus was fixed so that they could go. <coughs> then from uh, Maxville, uh, we have a couple of uh, pages of notes, but the Maxville 125th anniversary celebration is September 3rd at 10 o'clock. Uh, Miss Kansas and Jerry Moran uh, will be visiting. And uh, they have uh, antique vehicles, motorcycles, bicycle shows, in a parade and a show after at the city park. Uh, they have another whole list of things that are happening. The Lions Club is having breakfast at 6.30, a five kilometer run planned for the morning. The parade at 10, a quilt display at the United Methodist Church. Arts, crafts, foods, drinks, bingo games, along with train rides in the park. They're opening a time capsule from 1986, and they're going to bury a time capsule later. The post office has a special cancellation for our stamps. There's a roping rodeo. The library has a local published author coming to speak and sign autographs. They're having a hot roast and the fixings at the shelter house starting around 5, a dance with the live bands under alley at the tennis court at night. And uh, so they have a lot of events going on on Maxville on the 3rd. And uh, that's all uh, the announcements and news that I have for you. The word of the day is one to remember when things aren't going so well. When you're in trouble, try to keep your chin up and your mouth shut. This is Jim Lakey with lots of good advice. <laughs>